You're watching Shaw Arts and Entertainment. I'm Curtis Anderson. I'm on the set of Greystone Theatre's latest production, An Experiment with an Air Pump. I'm alongside, let's see, Green Dress. Yeah, <laughs> Green Dress. Heather Morrison. Heather, how's it going today? Welcome back to Shaw A&E. No stranger to Shaw A&E, Heather Morrison. It was great to be back, Curtis. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this brand new production. It jumps between... 1799 and 1999. Explain. Well, it basically it compares body snatching in 1799 to genetic advancements in 1999. So it's looking at the morality and science in both time periods. It also explores women's coming forward in science and uh, class issues. And so it uses the two time periods to compare those two oppositions. I'm really scattered. An experiment with an air pump. <laughs> Didn't see an air pump. Mm -hmm. It's a dark comedy. I saw some, you know, family fighting. There was a girl on the table. People were pulling hair. Explain the scene we just saw. The, to explain the scene you just saw. It seemed like it was about to be a really, really heavy moment between husband and wife. It was broken up by a fight, which eventually had to be broken up. What's going on? Well, actually, you know what? You just caught the end of a very heavy moment. Okay. So if you want to see the full heavy moment, you can well, come yeah. to the... Th the show. Uh, and then what happens is our daughters, uh, one of them is in love and she has a fiance, but the other one like him. And so uh, they fight about it all the time. And so they've, it's come to blows, basically. Uh, I would say it's the climax of their relationship. I've been bugging my sister about her fiance for being stupid because he's kind of a pansy. And um, so I was kind of getting on her nerves about it and so she started chasing me around and I was laughing but it got a little more serious when she pulled my hair and so I really tried to insult her and then she attacked me. But then it came down on you. Yeah, and, and then, you got, then you got the I know and then I got yelled at. Wow. Uh, well, I shouldn't have been bugging her maybe. I should be a little more sensitive. As well as jumping between 1799 <laughs> and 1991, you're, 1999, you're also jumping between characters as well. Mm -hmm. What are some of the hardest parts of pulling this off? Uh, I would think it's not carrying the emotional tone of one character into next scene. There's a part where over the course of three pages we play, we go from 1799 to 1799. And so it's trying not to let those bleed together. Like you have to make them clean and distinct because both uh, the character, uh, Brent, who plays my husband, uh, we switch back and forth from an emotional character to a character who's hard edged. So you can't let anything bleed between the two scenes. So I would say that's the most difficult part. It is a dark comedy. Here's my one two punch of uh, reporting on, on <laughs> productions here. What do you think the audience is going to walk away with after they see this? Uh, a lot of questions. I actually, I hope a lot of questions. Yeah. I know this has brought up a lot of questions for me. Uh, this play doesn't provide a lot of answers, but okay. it, it, it rises a lot of things that you might not have thought about to the surface. I hope that they really start to consider things they take for granted in modern day society, like just technologies that we use that uh, in the past were thought as maybe amoral or despicable or things that, you know, we say, oh, no problem, yeah, I'll donate my body to science, but whereas in back in the day, perhaps that wasn't uh, so accepted. So they can think about maybe new technologies that come out when they get scared that maybe it's not something that they should be so scared of. Doing this is a lot more awkward than I thought it was going to be. With the space between us, what was Heather doing in 1999 New Year's Eve? Oh my, it was, I was like in a friend's basement, Curtis. I was in grade nine. It's so embarrassing. Friend's basement. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the good people of 1799 brought forth the same amount of energy as they, uh, we did for 1999? Um... You know, that was, is such a tough question. I Just say yes and we'll move on. <laughs> in my research, yes. Yes, okay. they did. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 